What's going on everybody? Today we are putting a torque converter on one of these bikes and I'm sure John's gonna wreck it. Thanks, bud. Man, that thing is awesome. So we're not sure which mini bike this torque converter is gonna go on. We'd rather it go on this one right here because it has nicer brakes and it's just a lot less sketchy in general. But this one has a more receptive looking frame. As you can see here, there's no post going right here and there is a post right there. It's whichever one will fit on. Exactly, yeah. So. And we have a nice torque converter here from gopowersports.com. Thank you, GoPowerSports. So what I think we should do is uh, is do a like 60 foot comparison. You know, 60 foot is a big deal in drag racing. Yeah. So we do a 60 foot before with the centrifugal clutch, and we do a okay. 60 foot after okay. with the torque converter. And I okay. think we can do a 60 foot in the driveway. Yeah, I'm sure we can. It's just a little rainy. That looks problematic. Uh, thought it was a good idea. All right, let's go to this one. Yeah, it's, it's probably gonna be this one, dude. Uh, even that's gonna be an issue. Uh. Great. Uh, oh my. She's gonna have to be heavily modified. Both of them would yeah. have to have frames cut up. This is in the way here. Yeah, dude. Let's do it to this one, because this one's already a piece of crap. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, it's a piece of crap. You're gonna be fine chopping up that frame. Yeah. Are you sure? I paid a hundred bucks for this frame, dude. You may ask, why are we going through all this trouble just to put this big, bulky-looking part on this mini bike? Well, a torque converter, it's a lot better for off-the-line acceleration than a centrifugal clutch. It's more expensive than a centrifugal clutch, but it's like night and day acceleration. That's why we're doing a 60-foot comparison, is because it's going to be so much faster. It's going to do wheelies. We're going to have to figure out some kind of wheelie bar. So I freed up the rear brake so I can actually ride the thing. Kelby, uh, the dude who's holding the camera a second ago, backing up his Jeep so we can get some light for our 60 foot run. Can you do the flag, no, that's what I was just thinking though. You want me to drop my panties? <laughs> <laughs> nah, please don't. Ready? Yep. The hat hits the ground. Okay. Stop. It was a little scary though. That thing's fast. Yeah. It's pretty fast. Forgot right. how fast it was. Ready? Ready? Yep. Woo! Fast, fast, fast. I think the first thing we need to do is take the clutch off, get the chain out of the way, and we can uh, try to fit that thing up there the best we can to see where it's going to be sitting. Yeah. Um, then what I was thinking is we go ahead and go and buy some pipe and we put in there and go ahead and weld it up and then we cut the pieces so of frame out lose its so it doesn't lose any of its... Integrity. Uh, oh, this is so scary. Yeah, I forgot how fast this thing was, dude. Yeah. I'm betting we're going to probably have to cut it from there to like right here. Um, what I was thinking was we'd just get a pipe and go kind of diagonal yeah. right here and then weld it up somewhere over here. It's kind of sketchy, dude. You don't think we can, like, modify this bracket at all, do you? There's no. I don't think there's a whole lot of modifying to do on that bracket. Don't Any worry. little bit is going to uh, weaken that. This is aluminum, right? It's aluminum. Yeah, the uh, the heavier duty one is steel. Yes. You can definitely tell the difference. It's yes. so much lighter. Yes. Oops. Oh, nice. We stacked the nut. It's always, oh, yeah. it's always fun to find these little, hey, 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 little hey, surprises hey. afterwards. Surprises? That wasn't a surprise. I knew what was up. I forgot. <laughs> Just needed a little negotiation. Mm. Let's see what we got. It's not gonna be pretty. The main thing I wanted to see is where the chain is gonna. 
and line up. What we got to do is we got to go find some pipe now. Yep. Uh, we're going to get some, uh, hopefully find some pipe. Yeah. So we can destroy a uh, perfectly good mini bike. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having second thoughts, but... Are you? Yeah. Yeah. If you're having second thoughts, we don't have to do it. But man, I want to put a torque burger on the mini bike. Look at already committed. Halloween. Hey, this, this could be my next date. So what's up, John? A new fighting weapon. I didn't know you were into martial arts. I had the idea of actually jacking up the engine a little bit so we can fit the torque converter in there without having to cut up the frame. Now we're not completely sure if it's going to work and we're going to have to modify the air box and probably the exhaust here, but we may be able to um, fit this in here without modifying the frame if we just jack the engine up, which is going to raise the center of gravity. Yeah, I was going to mention that. But I think that's better than completely destroying this frame. Which means we're going to have to redo some exhaust. Yep, not a big deal. Maybe, well, maybe just... we can do the stack that you always wanted. Yes, the stack. Of course, with some like cherry bombs or something. Cherry? How many cylinders do you think this thing has? More than you can handle, pal. Oh. All right, we're getting somewhere. Looks like the bracket for the chain tensioner is still in the way. I don't know how I feel about this engine being this It far is over. so far over. Like, let me get a shot with the camera. Yeah. Let's just leave the board there, dude. I think we figured out a way how to get this thing on uh, without major modifications to the frame. Mm -hmm. Actually, you figured it out. Thanks, bud. Okay. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the hat. The hat. It's the hat. It's a symbol. Or we could get sexy with it and cut out the motor mount and move it up. Uh, that's getting to where it's modifying the frame. Yeah, it is. I think... I think uh, Maybe leaving the, the big, wood in there? Big old nuts. Oh, so we're stacking nuts. You're always like, man, don't show them that we're stacking nuts. Stacking nuts. <laughs> but you're always the one to suggest it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yank this board out. Sure. <laughs> Perfect. Let's just weld it in place and go for a ride. Sounds good. So we're done for the night. Um, we need to run and grab some big nuts because Ike doesn't have any. <laughs> um, so we can raise the engine up um, to, uh, to get some more clearance. Good morning. What's up? Uh, going to tractor supply, get some big old nuts. Is that what we're doing there? I don't know. Find a browse. Yeah, we can browse. Look for some chicks. They do have some smoking hot chicks there. Usually, they're cheap too. <laughs> they have ducklings too. What are you yeah. laughing at? We're out here at Ike's place robbing a gas tank off of a motorized bicycle. So we can use that for our mini bike so we don't have to modify uh, the Predator gas tank. Leave us a thumbs up if you want us to mess with this motorized bicycle. Ike actually has two. So uh, we can fix them up and, and go ride them somewhere sometime, but let us know. We also grabbed some 2 by 4s at Ike's place, um, so we can raise the engine up. Yep, we decided with the 2 by 4s because, well, they were free. I think we're going to go ahead and have to put a pod on this thing. That's cool, I can get going with that. Okay, so, and then we'll uh, lift it up, put the 2 by 4s under it. Set her down in there and see what we think, and redrill some holes and get the ball rolling, baby. Sounds good. All right. What you doing, bud? I'm working on the mini bike. You doing my I'm, job for me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped in there, dude. You Classic were over egg. there looking for the uh, the nice pod. Yeah, and the nice adapter. That you're going to put on this thing while I work on removing the fuel tank. That's right. I'm removing 
this is part of me removing the fuel tank. Yeah. Fuel line. Oh, man. Not only is it, like, blue, it also says GPS, which stands for Go Power Sports on there. Links in the description to these parts, everybody. Oh, nailed it. Man. Man, it's okay. It just shows how durable their parts <laughs> are. <laughs> so there's our nice new pod. Here's our adapter plate that we need to go on the carburetor so that we can mount the pod to it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Well, it's easier to do with two hands, but just pop it on like that. That bracket goes there to hold the choke on because without it, the choke can just pop off. Man, don't hurt yourself. Don't try this at home, everybody. So I got the adapter installed. It was really, I just had to tighten one side a little bit, then the other side a little bit, the other side a little bit, and just keep going back and forth. So now all I have to do is pop the pot on and then tighten the uh, hose clamp. I need to grab the pipe bender from the pump house so I can bend the header so I get it fit. <laughs> Small problem. It's underwater. I think we got a little problem with these uh, studs, dude. Really? Yeah, I uh, placed up there and the studs are like right where the frame uh, is. That's hand butt. Are you fine with it being kind of up like this? Yeah, I'm fine. You down with it? I'm down. Doesn't look too ridiculous? Well. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? It'll be all right. It'll be fine. Yeah. The reason we went with a pod is just because it, it's shorter than uh, the factory air box and we were running into clearance problems here. Uh, but you know, picking up some extra power and torque is just a nice little byproduct of that. Yep. What you doing? I'm still just kind of pondering on this uh, engine positioning and stuff. I think we're gonna be able to use the same mounting holes. It is mighty close to you matching up as far as the chain and sprocket, you mean? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. One thing we are still gonna have to do is relocate the uh, chain tensioner because that's all up in the way. Yeah, right there in the groove of that pulley. We'll just trim it off and move it back here or something. You know, one thing we haven't thought about, we might run into uh, <clears throat> problems with the air having too much, or with the motor having too much air. Because we have the pod and the header, but we don't have the jet for more fuel. If it's a problem, we'll drill out the jet. Actually, they gave us... Some jets? Or was that for the 420? Yeah, it was 420. Okay, well, I mean, we'll look around for some jets, and if not, then we'll just drill that mamma jamma out. All right. For testing purposes only. Sweet. All right, we got our bolts from the hardware store. So now we're gonna bolt the engine down and hope that everything lines up and maybe go for a ride. What you doing, man? Hooking up some, some, uh, I'm shortening the chain, man. So we can uh, tighten down the engine. <laughs> Put the clutch on, uh, fuel tank. Fuel tank, that's going to be interesting. The wood is compressing under the uh, under the stress of the bolts as we tighten, so we don't want to go too tight and it can't be too loose. Got the chain on, Ike is assembling the rest of the torque converter, and uh, we're getting close to being able to ride this thing, but I'm not sure if we're going to ride it today. Somebody is. Ike welded the gas tank to the frame. It looks pretty gross, so I'm not going to stick on that too Are you long. serious? I mean, you welded the bolts to the frame. Well, yeah, yeah. True. It'll be fine, but hey, my header isn't that much prettier, so... Oh, I'm going to go for a ride in this wonderful, wonderful weather. What are you doing? 
I'm getting down to my swim pool. Are you really taking your pants off? What are you? Man, you know this is going on the internet, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Well, I think it needs a new rear tire. Yeah, no traction. Is my back covered or not too bad? No, it's actually not bad. Well, uh, never mind. Y'all done seen me in my underwear. So that's all we got today, guys. Sorry we couldn't uh, demonstrate the real power of this thing. Um, yeah. It did a really good rolling burnout. It just broke a record for rolling burnout for us. Hey, man, I got clean shorts. <laughs> yeah. It's actually not too bad. Um, I could, this is gonna be great if we get a nice tire on the back. It'd be great for down there. But, uh, I mean, she's done too many burnouts. And, uh, I, it's just too wet and muddy. Oh, God. Yeah, my back is a rat. <laughs> you may not see it because it's a black Cars and Cameras t-shirt, which you can buy on cars dash Cameras.com. Cameras there you go. Anyway, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. We post more often on Facebook and Instagram so you guys can see what's going on, like sometimes weeks in advance of what you see on YouTube. Also, check out Ike's channel, which is Isaac, it'll be fine. Uh, he's in the comments and he's been posting his own videos recently of just his daily life. Yep. Just, just there ain't no telling what's going to so be you posted. Can see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah. That wasn't too bad.